Welcome to your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Tuesday. Tuesday? Yes. April 2nd, 2024. Hope you guys are doing well. Got a couple twos and some fours in there. Oh, I've got a full house, maybe. But anyway, um, don't know what I'm talking about. welcome in. I appreciate you joining me. Hey, check out the video vault on thebuckeyecast.com. Got all of your recruit highlights in there, all the 2025 guys, even the new commits. You got to get in there. Everybody we have offered is in the video vault. Go to thebuckeyecast.com, click on video vaults right at the top, and uh, you're in. Check it out. There's a free trial. Go in for three days and, and run through all the videos you want. Got your condensed Buckeye games in there of the past. I, I keep adding more videos every day. We're at like 300 and something now. So uh, pop in there, the buckeyecast.com, the video vault. All right. Today we're talking about the tight ends. They don't get enough uh, – enough pub i don't think uh they don't get, they don't get enough press so this this uh, group is kind of under some change going through changes as ozzy osborne once said uh go in. yeah anyway we don't need that so the challenge for the tight ends this year is a bit different than usual keenan bailey it's his room he's the coach uh, apparently he went through some little altercation in spring ball with a, a strength coach or something. So I'm not sure what's going through that dude's head, but anyway, um, this unit has to replace the production of captain Kate Stover. Uh, he was captain of the team. Um, he had 613 snaps last year and one game he didn't even play. So that's, that's a ton right there. Not to mention his production. You know, uh, G. Scott only had 350 snaps last year. And from there, it just falls off a cliff. You know, Joe Royer left. Um, he had 44 snaps. Patrick Gerd, the walk-on, 39. Jelani, the freshman, only had 24. So uh, let's get into it and talk about uh, what – what uh, what we see happening here. We got the transfer, and we, we know all that. So let's get into it. Um the Buckeyes have a handful of inexperienced guys and a grad – or a, he's not a grad transfer, just a transfer from Ohio University. So, uh, I don't know. You got G. Scott. He's really your incumbent, your returning guy with any um, any experience. Uh, he's, a, he's a hard worker, veteran, so um, he's built up that – that equity, you know, with the team, but uh, Ohio State open open spring with more uncertainty at tight end than any other position on the roster, really. Uh, so at midway of camp, uh, it hasn't really changed much here in in spring ball. Uh, certainly, you know, the Ohio State standard is not there yet. Um, so there's plenty of time to change that, but. Uh, Will Kesmerick is making the transition to a higher level of level of football. You know, this is a big time ball. Um, the physical tools are there. He's like 6'6", 2, 255, something like that. So uh, there's no issue with self-confidence after his arriving in winter. But um, the coaching staff still appears to have strong belief that he can become the do-it-all starter that the Buckeyes need at tight end. You know, not just blocking – he can also catch, you know, he had uh, 20 catches two years in a row at, at Ohio University. So there's certainly a difference between the level of competition on the practice field at Ohio and uh, games against Mac opponents and stuff like that. But um, then what he's facing right now on a day in, day out basis at, at Ohio State. So it's uh, it's not unusual for it to take more than six practices to to, uh, you know, transition to to this level of football, but uh, based on the extra time uh, Kazmarek has spent in the Woody after practice, um, he's more than willing to put in the work to speed up the process. You know, uh, Keenan Bailey said, quote, he's transitioning. He's still transitioning. And I think it's credit to the guys that he had down in Athens. The transfer portal is strange because there are so many unknowns, right? We're in bull prep. I don't have any time to get to know Will really. So you're you're going off of what you see on film. You've got to trust that. 
and he showed toughness. We kind of thought going in that he would transition like he has. Uh, he's just putting down his head and working. You, you kind of have to, right, if you're a transfer from Ohio University. But uh, G. Scott's taken on the leadership role, as he should, uh, for the tight end group. The production void left by uh, left by the departure of Kate Stover is a major issue, though. Um, his leadership is another, and uh, that might be tougher – a bigger challenge for the Buckeyes as they they uh, move forward, at, you know, in a new season with at tight end. So uh, G. Scott Jr. is the natural choice to to take the the baton, you know, given his time in the uh, the program. But uh, through March, he's doing his part to live up to the standard and and pass it down to the rest of the guys. So um, what we can expect from G. Scott on the field still remains to be seen. Uh, there's still work to be done. He's got to continue uh, building himself into an all-purpose tight end, you know, at, at the position. So um, either way, he's got a chance to influence that group as as the uh, older guy in the group. Um, Keenan Bailey said about G. Scott, quote, G has been great. I think he sets the tone for the unit. He's been here for quite a while. He knows what it takes, right? So he sets a tone as far as details of preparation and effort and toughness. And everyone's got to follow him. Now you got um, Jelani Thurman. The Buckeyes are pushing him to unlock his potential, right? Coming into his second year. So uh, he's got that athleticism, freaky, freaky athleticism, uh, 6'6". He's he's bulked up to almost 250, too. Uh, he's got the frame that, um, you know, looks like he's ready to make the jump into big-time college football, but uh, – um, unfortunately, he didn't make much of an impact last year, and and it kind of comes off as a little bit of a disappointment. I don't I don't know what you expect out of a true freshman, but um, at least in the Woody by his teammates, uh, he's viewed as it the this is the reality of playing a developmental position like tight end, you know, and the difficulty of putting all the pieces together as a true freshman. It's virtually impossible at that position just like offensive line you know uh but the outlook for uh for jelani's potential is optimistic the buckeyes uh at the same time have put a spotlight on his his spring growth with an eye on him cracking the rotation with his uh second shot this fall um keenan bailey said quote i think he's working really hard again the first thing is to know what to do and then know how to do it and the third part is why to do it i think right now jelani is being the best buckeye he's been he's make making plays uh, i'm going to go back to the fact entire the entire unit has got to be the toughest unit on the team and the hardest working, whether it be Jelani or anybody else in the unit. So, yeah. Um, again, the production is a big deal. You know, Cade put up almost record setting numbers at Ohio State. So, uh, somebody's got to step up. It can't just be G and it can't just be G and Kazmarek, you know, because the Buckeyes are going to trot out some 12 personnel with two tight ends, stuff like that. So somebody gets hurt, next man has to be ready. So the room's kind of thin. You may want to consider jumping in the portal for another tight end if if one pops open here at, uh, after spring ball. So something to consider. And you got Bennett Christian, didn't do anything. He had that PED suspension. He developed, he worked on scout team all year because he was able to practice Monday, uh, Sunday through Friday, he just couldn't play or, or go to the games. But uh, again, it's hard to plan on anything from him, a guy that that uh, wasn't even able to play in games last year and only was on scout team. So we'll see what Keenan Bailey has in mind and uh, see if he can whip these guys into shape. Uh, it's going to be a true test for, for the young coach this season. So we'll see what he's got under his sleeve, up his sleeve. But uh, – don't forget to hit the video vault. Check out all the new recruits and your Buckeye legend highlight videos. So, buckeyecast.com. Talk to you later. Go, Bucks.